So, the pool, and you're still involved. What was the experience like? It was a wonderful experience. It was. I had been previously to Tanzania, but I wanted to experience another culture. Uh, and when I heard about people and places, I thought it sounded like the, the type of project that I wanted to be involved in. Um, and Nepal was a country I really wanted to see anyway. Um, and I went out there in 2010. I'm a secondary school teacher and uh, the school in Pokhara, or Pokhara, because I can never remember how to pronounce it, um, they worked with the junior school and with the senior school and the, the, um, the brief uh, was to actually teach the teachers how to use English in the classroom with up-to-date mo modern methods, interactive methods, because they did a lot of rote learning there. Um, so that was my first experience in Nepal. And are you still involved? Have I'm still in, I'm still involved in the sense that I read the newsletter, obviously, because I want to be involved, um, and, and send messages when I can. I talk to volunteers who are going, subsequent volunteers who are going out there, um, and also um, Sally often writes emails to um, volunteers to ask if they could input into um, the brief that they give to people, and I think that's was my last involvement in January. I, I actually um, responded to that by um, going through the brief and suggesting maybe what could be added uh, to help future volunteers. And have you found that rewarding? F I, very rewarding because I, I feel like I started the project with another volunteer. So I feel it's almost like my baby, so to speak. I was the first one out there. So I always want to know, I'm going to always want to know, I think, how it's progressing. Um, and I've talked to quite a few volunteers today um, who've gone out after me. I gather it's changed quite a bit. Um, I suppose what I ought to do sometime in the future is go back out and see how it has progressed. But yes, I do like to be involved. I read the newsletter. Um, I'm in touch with Marcus. I, uh, at Christmas so I send him greetings ask how everything's getting on um, and I I don't think I shall ever not want to be involved because I started the project and are still some um, and I assume some of the same staff are still there. I believe so from talking to people today some of the staff are still there yes still learning English because it was a it was a huge project um, it isn't something that's going to be solved in one or two years. It's, it's a five, maybe ten year project before all teachers are going to be using English as the medium in the classroom. So it is, um, and it's continuity of volunteers that's important, I think, um, to see that project through. It's going to take a long while. And your contribution to the newsletters and to briefing the volunteers going out, for us, that's a really important part of ensuring. Well, well yeah, I'm I'm glad to hear that because um, it's a two-way thing, isn't it? It's um, keeping ex-volunteers involved, um, and if anything that I can contribute helps towards other volunteers going out or things happening as a result, that's always going to be good, isn't it?